Welcome to the video tutorials of Fluidsum. In this video we will show you the first steps to use the Fluidsum 6 license manager, how to create a license manager account and how to set up a first user group. To follow the steps, you will need your license ticket for Fluidsum and a working internet connection. With Fluidsum 6 you receive your licenses in purely digital form as a so-called license ticket. Under this ticket, your licenses are stored at Festo. You can flexibly decide whether these licenses are to be used only on certain computers in your institution, or are available to your students via the internet on any computer that has Fluidsum installed. These so-called online licenses, which can be used via internet by students, for example at home, are managed by you with the license manager. The access to these licenses is provided to you students via user groups, which can be created individually and with a specific time restriction via the license manager. Using the integrated chat function, you can get in touch with your students to support their studies. With the online licenses, Fluidsum can be used very flexibly without the risk of losing licenses or that they are being tied to a specific hardware. The license manager is included in the installation of Fluidsum and is installed at the same time as Fluidsum. Start the license manager by clicking on the Windows icon in the taskbar. Enter license manager in the search field and click on the corresponding search result. When the license manager is started, a connection to the license server is established. If this was successful, a dialog appears to log in with your license manager account. The license manager account is used to centrally manage your Fluidsum licenses. If you do not have a license manager account yet, you can create a new account with your license ticket. To do so, click on the link, Create New Account. Choose a username and a secure password for the new account. The username can be freely chosen, as long as it is not already used for an existing account. You could, for example, use the name of your school or your email address as the username. Repeat the password entry to avoid typos. Finally, enter the ticket number of your license ticket in the last input field. Please note that only tickets with licenses for the full version can be used to create a new license manager account. A license ticket with licenses for the home use version of Fluidsum cannot be used. Once all the entries have been made, the new account can be created by clicking on Create New Account. If the account was created successfully, a success message appears. Click OK and the username and password will be applied automatically to the login dialog. Use the Remember My Credentials option to control whether the password should be saved on the current computer. You will then no longer have to re enter your password every time you log in. Click OK to log in with the new License Manager account. After successful login, the main window of the License Manager appears. The first time you log in on a new computer, the program settings will be displayed automatically. Here you can adjust the program language if necessary and make various settings for the integrated chat with users. If all settings are fine, confirm the dialog with OK. You can change these settings later at any time via the menu item, Tools, Preferences. The main window of the license manager shows you the user groups on the left, the users of a group on the right, and the available online licenses at the bottom. In this example, the license ticket that was used to create the license manager account contains 10 licenses for Fluidsum Nomadics. Since no licenses have been activated locally so far, they are all available as online licenses. Using the menu item tools, manage licenses. You can get an overview of the license tickets currently assigned to the account. Here we see again the license ticket that we used to create the account. If you have other tickets, for example for other technologies, you can add them to the current account using the Add Ticket button. To illustrate this, we enter a ticket number of a license ticket with licenses for the technology hydraulics and add it to the current license manager account. As you can see, the corresponding licenses have been added to the account and are now also available as online licenses. Now to give students access to these licenses, we need to create a user group. To do this, click on Add. Enter a name and password for the new user group. You are free to choose the name of the group, it just must not already be in use. 
This combination of group name and password is all your students will need to log in to Fluidsum. Click OK to create the new group. Each new group initially has no restriction regarding lifetime and available licenses. Therefore, all currently available licenses are now available to the users of our group. If you want to restrict this, you can use the quotas button to limit the available licenses and the set expiration button to limit the validity of the group. After the group is set up, give the name and password of the group to your students who will be using Fluidsum. It is not necessary to create users for the individual students beforehand, as this is done automatically when the students log in. What the login by the student with group name and password looks like, we would like to demonstrate now. For simplicity, this is shown here on the same computer but in principle the login can be done from any computer with an internet connection with Fluidsum installed. Also, the license manager does not need to remain open for students to log into groups. We start Fluidsum and since we selected during the installation that we want to use an online license, a login dialog appears where we can enter our previously created credentials. If the registration was successful, the technology selection appears with the available technologies. If multiple technologies are available, the student can decide at this point which to launch. For the example, we select both available technologies and start Fluidsum. We switch back to the license manager and can now see that a student is currently logged into the new group. You can also see that one pneumatics license and one hydraulics license are currently occupied, leaving nine licenses available. Each technology started by a student, thus occupies one license of that technology. This means basically that as many users can log on at the same time as there are licenses available. If the student quits Fluidsum, the licenses will be available again a short time later. Thank you for your attention.